everybody. Here we are at Peace and Grease Garage. It has come to my attention that we have some young men watching the show. Uh, even one of them stopped by here the other day and was taking a look around and seeing what's going on. Uh, but that's good. So what we're going to do today is, well, let me stop. I also seen a guy, Adam Harris, friend of mine on Facebook, he shared a picture of a little girl ripping it on a dirt bike. So this just isn't for little boys. This is for little girls, little boys, or even dads that don't know how to do this. Do you think that exists? Maybe. I'm sure. Some yeah. people didn't grow up like this. All right, we'll come back here. Here's our problem. We got a bad tire. Tire's good. The inner tube's flat. Kit, I've been riding it. I'm a little big for the bike, but I love this thing. Got this off Terry Doyle. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use common tools. I'm not going to use any impacts or i'm not going to use anything <laughs> that most people wouldn't have yeah, yeah, and i got on this stand which might it's kind of don't fit on there very good but i did this so it's easier to see i know everybody don't have a stand you can use a piece of wood or a cinder block or anything like that but the first thing is you can't change the tube till you take all this off which seems like a lot of work you got a chain brakes brake line brake rotor but let me show you a few things Sammy, he'll help when he's ready, but we just want to take the tire off so I can change the tube. So it's going to be a few steps, but here's your brake caliper. And another tip for a little guy. The longer your ratchet is, the easier it is to get off. So what first thing we're going to do is take the brake off. Step back, we're not going to take the brake line off because then it'll leak fluid. And then we'll need more help, but we're just going to take this off. I had the bolts loose while we was waiting on Sammy to get back. Another good thing to do is sometimes if I'm working on something confusing, I got a lot of bolts. I put them in a Ziploc bag right here and put caliper bolts. No, I don't like it. See, look, now that's out of the way. Look at what time it's doing. Help him. Another good thing to do is if you don't know where your bolts go, good way to not lose them is screw them right back in where you took them off. Wet. Well, that's in to ship you off. You ain't interested in fixing their tire. Let's see. Next thing we want to do is get this tire loose. Don't get under it. Hey, I'm going to take this tire off. Don't get under it. Sometimes you need an extra hand. I need a wrench. It's turning on the other side. All right, I could just use an impact, but a lot of kids don't know how to use that. This is your brake caliper bracket. See, it's getting loose. See that? You want to pay attention to things as it comes apart. Things are falling off, so you got to make sure you watch where it comes from. This is the brake bracket. And it's made to slide with the wheel. So it'll really only go on one way. Remember, it points up. It's going to get light. The stand is not good for this bike. Let me just set up the tripod and then I can hold the other side. Yeah. Okay, come over here. I'm here, Grandpa. Come on. Right. Okay, Mom. Well, you need to stand over here. Right here. Oh. All right. What happens when you let go? Let go of it. My goal is to show young people how to change this inner tube. But it's a job for anyone, really. I found out the smaller the tire, the harder it is to work on. I'd much rather change big old truck tires any day of the week. But when I stopped, I got to show them that. I got the tire off. Everything's just laid there in the way it come apart. It's pretty easy. Then I used this. Look at the tube, blow her out. You think I did that with my weight? 
So I got some of these. I got some smaller ones over in the Model A. I should have went and got those. But I live a constant distracted life, so I had to try to keep going. So this is a little big. I use screwdrivers. You don't want to use screwdrivers on the new tube because you will pinch it. But getting the old inner tube out, I just use screwdrivers. Pried one side of the wheel off. I was going to try to cram it up in there. I was going to get the wheel half on, half off, and get it up in there, but it's so stiff I couldn't do that. So we're going to learn together. Actually, I don't know everything. I'm just a common guy who's not afraid to tear into it, I guess. Sometimes when you have your dirt bike tire all the way off, if you flip it around, which this one's not even hardly wore out, but if you have an old dirt bike, like you wouldn't believe how much these grab, but they wear out because you're always digging. So if you turn your tire around, you get a little more time out of it. But this one's not bad. What's going to be hard is getting that in there. That's going to be real hard. How's that? Let me build up some air. New inner tube in there. Comes out of the box all folded up. So I put it in there. And this is my secret concoction. It's water and Dawn dish soap. Anytime you work on tires or rubber and steel, you need a little bit of this. Help everything move around and won't pinch up. So now we gotta get it back in there without pinching it. Here's my valve stem. Where's my valve stem hole? All right. Gotta line those up. It's gonna be tricky. The biggest trick here is to not pinch it again. Dad. Well, I got the mule. He wears that car out, don't he? This is tedious. All right, let's just get this nut started. And then it holds your valve stem in. If you're a t if you're a 12 year old kid that can do this, I'm gonna hire you. I'm gonna pay you good money because. Stuff like this just isn't, when I was little, I, I mean, everybody's changed bicycle tires. They seem to be all right. These little dirt bike tires are stiff. Bicycle tire, you ever change a bicycle inner tube? No. Why? I just get me a new bike. A new bike over a tire? Yeah. That's, an, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Uh, what was you, rich? Good rich. I just, if I, sometimes I'd steal a bike. I never stole a bike. I never did either. God <laughs> dang. <laughs> I lived a little. I can't get this on. You were way richer than me when we were kids. Richard Pryor? Yeah. All right. Now I got my valve stem started. Let's get this baby in there without making a disaster. Lube it up. There's really no good way to. I bet if you work at a motorcycle shop. You got better stuff, you think? Yeah, I don't think this is something we do on a regular basis. This is going to be tight. I only am fixing it because I broke it. Just work it around there. Keep your inner tube up in there. That's the thing. If you pinch out, then we're just starting over. That's why I bought two. I wasn't so sure. There comes a part where you gotta pry on it, and that's real scary. And that's right now. Just barely get that in there. I got a little, I put a little air in it. So if I pop it, we're going no quick. If I pop it, you can't ever show this to no one. I'm showing it to everybody. No, you can't. It'll be easier to get the second part in. Let me use the angle part. It's a it's being cumbersome. Seven Mary three tire. You get that? Oh yeah, I got it. I've seen them. 
You have a live? Lot, a lot, yeah. Are they still around? Yeah, I bet. They're good. They're real good live. I like uh, them. Hey, I are. can't sing it, can I? You, we'll get shut you down. Could. They're real good. You don't even know about me and my music life, babe. I do so. This is a, this is turning in to be quite the job. My little dirt bike. I probably look like a. I don't even want to say it. Probably should, Ben. A monkey. We're getting close. You don't have to be in no hurry. We're in a hurry to ride, but. Two spoons is. Just don't I ride. Got to. Listen, just don't ride out of my life. On this? Don't drive out of, out of my life, like they say. Isn't that what they say? Who said it? The racers. They say I drove out of his life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got fresh data. I drove <laughs> out of his life. You forgot. And I, you didn't even get my joke. Once they hit the light, lame. I was gone. This is lame. It's lame you didn't get my joke. Man, the instinct is to grab a screwdriver and stick in there. But it, it's you'll a ruin, bad move. You'll yeah. ruin it. I'm telling you immediately. Just oh. this is the better end. What was that popping noise? Mary Poppins. Come on. They make smaller spoons. Get on there. It just don't want to go. There, there it jumped. Then it come, then it moved. Man alive! You're getting there. Oh, I'm wanting to use the screwdriver real bad. Just don't though, you're getting there. You're so close. Just don't, you're gonna pop it. Just, <laughs> Spoons. You're so close. Look how close. I know. I need another one. I need to hold it. Where's my other stuff at? I hit it. That's what I do. As soon as I take this out, I lose my momentum. One time when I was a kid. I was pretty handy. I would work on stuff. Even if it was wrong, I would still work on something. And then my kickball was flat. One of those red kickballs. Yeah, I can I, hear them. This was my first. Well, I can hear this one exploding on my belly. This was like my first experience with like air compressors. So I go out. Nobody's home. I go to air up my kickball. And I was kind of amazed at the way it was growing. So before I should have, I should have let off. God dang. It was Get like me on a mini bike the first time. You should have let off and you didn't. You can have time lapse this. This is embarrassing. I hear Otis barking. Perfect. That coon must be moving around. What am I doing wrong, folks? I thought I was going to shoot a video, fix this tire real fast. I'm real close. I feel like I could just get that to pop on. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. All right. Valve stem's still in there. We'll tighten that down once we get her better. This is proving to be quite a little job. Little problem, little dirt bike, big problem. Put air in it to form it, but that also kind of now is where you really pinch it. What a job! I didn't think it was going to be so intense. It's going, I think it was going to get easier, it might get harder. It's real, it's real stiff. 
That's where the water helps. I had a, which I do, I got a hole right there. A way to clamp that baby down, I could have used the axle bolt. Clamped it down, then it wouldn't be moving around on me. All right, here's where you're gonna, if you're gonna pinch it, it's gonna be right here. It gets up in there, and your spoon just grabs it and just gives it a little blood blister. Man, what a, what, a, what a job. Are you impressed or not impressed? I'm thoroughly impressed, always. Sometimes you think jobs will just take real, be real quick, like, oh, let me try something. Try something else. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Oh gosh. What the heck? Huh? Huh? Oh, I love it already. <laughs> you know, it's a quick assumption. Yeah. At first it looked great. I I'm, too, I'm too loose. This is probably a horrible idea. But it ain't pinching the tube this way. That was my thought. Oh, Irwin. Steve Irwin. Man, it's it's a battle, isn't it? Yeah. It's not going easily. And there's just no good way to do this. That side comes off immediately, and this side's hard to get in. I gotta fix this, the pressure's on. This is my favorite dirt bike. Sometimes you get a tire warm, use your torpedo heater, get it hot, it'll help too. I bet there's some guys who ain't real good at working on stuff that this would just, this would ruin their day. I'd be taking it somewhere if it was me. We're almost there. I like the way this was looking, but ran out of bike. Didn't really seem that effective. Makes me want to prove you wrong. I know. I knew, you, I knew you'd say that. With these pliers, it's a fine line between too, op too big and too little. That's not gonna work. Let's just let's just get away from them. You know what you didn't do? Prove me wrong right there, real quick. This is crazy. It is what it is. I'm being trying to be super careful not to pinch the stupid. I could be more aggressive, but I would probably just ruin it. You have to start over. Just better be patient. I don't have very many of those. I know that. You've none. Less than zero. Yeah. Big old stretchy bites what we need. Really? A couple more of those, we're home free. The problem is it wants to fall apart on you.
That's real pinchy right there. For sure pinching it. I could see it. Man. We were just right there. Huh. What a job. I just thought it'd be a quick, easy little fix, you know? Yeah, that's what you told me. Real quick, let's do this real quick. Three hours later. Yeah. It just keeps moving on me. That's my problem. I need them. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what. I, maybe I can't do it. Maybe I'm a dumb mother. Why won't it go? Okay. This is where it'd be great to weigh a lot more. The only time. I mean, it's fighting me bad. I guess I'd take this rotor off and get a better bite. That's kind of my problem. I can't, I can't commit. And then when I do commit, I see that tube in there wanting to get pinched, like right there. Time I get it on there, it just moves more back here. That was pretty progressive. Oh, all oh, right here is going to do it. No, I'll be, you'll be proving me wrong again. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh. There it went. Oh. Ta-da. I'm going to make sure this gets in there. Has plenty of room to move around. Don't be afraid to move her up. How long do you think this one? That one blew out. Do you think that was from that jump I did? <laughs> huh? You really caught some air on it. We can't though, tell them probably. about the jump yet. They can't tell them about the jump yet. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I aired it out. That's for TV, though. That's going to be on TV. That jump will be. Won't it? Definitely. Get bigger, Rich. Ten was the other one. Ten millimeter works on everything. Now they've got a sprinch in there so big you can't tighten it. Uh, nut so big you can't get a wrench on it. Is it gonna hold air? Yeah. I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap it tonight. What should I wrap? The pond. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. It's got a hole in it. Your new tube? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. No. I'm pretty sure. Got a hole in it. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, it won't hold air. Well, I was going to make a video to show how to change the inner tube on a common dirt bike. You know, personally, I've changed thousands of inner tubes. I'm probably like an inner tube changing king. Show them, babe, on the floor. Things happen. Yeah. A lot bought, happened. Yeah. I bought two, and I barely pinched it. I mean, I the goal was to make a video without pinching my tube. And what did I do? I pinched my tube. So we're. I'm just here to tell you this isn't this isn't a show a channel to show you how to do things perfectly. This is just me living my life, and my life involves a tiny dirt bike. But this tire gave me big problems today, didn't it? It did. So I got. There it. was a lot of time cut out that you guys did not have to witness. Yeah, we threw away the phone. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we did not. I threw I, away the phone. To I had to pause it. Man. I'm relieved though. Now I get my wheels back. The second tube worked. Good thing we got two. So Be well, positive I'll do a rebuttal. About that. I'll do a rebuttal. I put a little bit of air in the first tube to hold it up in the tire and keep it out of my way from getting pinched. My producer, Jen, that's it. Peace says, on this next one, don't put air in it and it'll stay out of your way better. And God dang, she was right, man. So, we're going to be ripping here in a little bit. <laughs> she wants me to ramp the pond on it. <laughs> I don't have enough speed. Uh -huh. It's like that one video with the guy drinking the beer as he's coming down. Remember that we just seen? And he ramps them barrels on the pond and it throws him. And he does a flip but gets right up. Remember that? Yes. He had a bike like this, so. A bike like this. This is a bike. This thing's hot to trot. It's about the size of Sammy. Sammy could ride this. Well, he's going to ride it as soon as he gets his bounce bike. You didn't come over there today and see those little electric dirt bikes. No. They were like there was three different size KTM's over there, and they were electric, like a balance, like his balance bike size. But they were they had a little battery, like not like a Walmart. You know what I mean? No, I'm talking we can't like Walmart. I'm talking like a high performance machine. Well, Look. does it have a horn? Is the question because hey, that's his favorite thing to do. This is my favorite stuff. Permatex Ultra Sick Engine Assembly Lube. What's it gonna hurt? Put some at my dirt bike. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Look at it. Look at oh, that. Oh gosh. That stuff gets on everything. Looks like it. Oh, God. You know what? You know what Guns N' Roses says about that? He says he used to do a little, but a little wouldn't do it, so a little got more and more. Oh man, that wore me out. It was stressful. I throwed my bench. I throwed my tools. I lost my helper. He went to grandma's. <laughs> yeah, he quit on us. Ah. Give me, give me what you think now. Three minutes, I'll be ripping. Three? Yeah. We're at 3.33 right now, so at 6.33, you better be on it. Yeah, go on. Hitting them hard. It'll start first kick, so I ain't worried I about ain't nothing worried about but it starting, part. but your tire is the question. Already got that backwards. That's going to slow me down. Sweet. I'm a dirt bike mechanic. Knew it. You didn't know it. I did. Oh, I forgot my shim. I might not make it in three three minutes. We're gonna have to lie. You're at four or five, running out of time. Tick tock, tick tock. Boy, that lube come out heavy. Goes up. Remember that was your tip. I'll just make sure of which way it went. I've seen a few new. It goes up. I've seen a few remembered. Yeah. I'm a dirt bike mechanic now. Yeah. I actually was the reason the tire got fixed, babe. You and old Sarah be out there dirt biking moms, boys. I can bleep that part out. Oh, dang. I'm still in it. You are. You just, listen, that's got to go up. It's got to go in that slot there. 
then this has to go on there because that's your adjuster man oh man i'm gonna make it i'm telling you we're fixing to rip this turd i'm just gonna put it right back where it was oh i'm missing a wrench that don't count Against the adjusters. There's my brake bracket. I really, I really only need two tools to do this other than the spoon. That kicked my butt. And your assistant. Let's not leave that out. I'd never leave the assistant out. Uh, brake pad's jamming me. Don't do me like this. The brake pad tried, the brake caliper tried to ruin me. I got too much lube on there. It's leaking out. It's gonna sling up on my back and everything. The way I ride, you know? Oh gosh. Oh, I get at it. My dad bought me these sockets when I was about 16, 15. This is a good story about tools. You wanna hear it? Well, yeah. My mom and dad went to Florida, and he come home, and I didn't expect nothing, but they always brought me something. Still do. And he brings me a set of tools, and uh, there's two sets of tools. There's quarter-inch drive snap-on, and there's three-inch drive snap-on. And there was a socket and ratchet of, for each size, and he says, one of those is yours. Which one do you want? And I said, I want the three-inch drive. And they came in a box. They were brand new. Now look right here. I still have them. Look. It's, I'm missing the box, and I'm missing a few holders, but I got all the sockets, and I got the socket, and the extension, and everything. If you take good care of your tools, and always know where they're at. Yeah, all these years later. You still got them. Look at that. I mean, Make it spin again. I wasn't looking. I was looking at the Oh, gosh. Oh. How's she looking? Out to truck. So I ramp it off the thing, or <laughs> get it down? Am I still... I'm my own time. Uh, what'd you have till 6.33? You're out of time. I got air? I don't no, know. you got listening to... Uh, I got lost on the story time. Biker on my wife. 